Hi everybody and welcome, welcome to another video. My name is Matt and this is What Matters to Matt. And on today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to set up a workout in Garmin Connect. And the reason why, the reason why I wanted to share this with you today is because over the next eight weeks, I'm gonna be training for a half marathon that's down in Millinocket in Maine, Eastern US. Really, really excited for this one. The reason why I chose this half marathon was because it was towards the end of the year and it does give me something to focus on because I want to put myself in the best position possible to be ready for a spring marathon. So I thought I'd focus there. I'm also going to be using a workout from Jack Daniels that we're going to be setting up today. Not going to go over his whole program, but I do plan on using one of his programs to train for that marathon. So I'm starting to dive into using some of those. There are some really, really juicy workouts here. So today I grabbed one that does have a little bit of everything. There's some threshold miles in there. There's some three minute interval sessions. There's some 200 meter repeats. Of course, there's some easy running and there's a cool down. So we're gonna hop on over to the computer. I'm gonna show you how it's done. And then we'll wrap up the video. All right, let's, let's go. All right, so now we're over on Garmin Connect and you will see right off the bat, we're on our home page, and you can kind of add and adjust what you actually want to see on your home page. but I've got sleep score up here, 73, body batteries all the way down to 22, which is a little bit concerning. Stressful day at the school, and uh, I've still got a run to do tonight, but this morning, two kilometer warm up on a treadmill, and then just 33 minutes of weights. And down here, events, the half marathon that we're running, is the Millinocket Marathon and Half Marathon on December 7th. So seven weeks, four days away. But we're gonna go ahead and build that workout from Jack Daniels. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side, go down to training, click on workouts. Then when we're in here, you're gonna see a whole lot of mostly easy aerobic runs. It's just a default from another program that I was doing, BPN training plan actually for a while there. We're gonna go in and we're gonna create a new one. And we're gonna create workout. And it automatically pops up with this lap button press, like a warm up, and then a one kilometer run, and then a cool down. I like to start with a clean slate just because I find it easier. I'm less likely to miss anything, less likely to get anything wrong when I'm adding the workout. So I delete all of those. And then I start by just adding a step over here on the right. And when I add that step, immediately we can go in and edit. And what I'm starting off with is a two mile warm up. So in this two mile warm up, I am going to label it as run. You could label it as warm up, but I like to label most things as run or cool down. But when I label it as run, we do want type, we want distance. There are some different options here, lap button press, calories, heart rate, time, but we've got a two mile warm up. So we're going to come in and just put two miles. So we got to change it from kilometers to miles. And I have a target pace for that warm up. And again, this is entirely up to you. I'm going to want to go 245 per kilometer to, actually, we're going to make that 230 per kilometer to six minutes. So that was bang on. And these are honestly based on um, paces through the V dot and what match up with what matches up with me terms of what I want to run these different uh, sections of this workout in. So that's my warm up, two miles, 5.30 to six minute pace. Gonna click done. Now we have three times one mile threshold and then a one minute recovery. So rather than just add a step, I'm gonna actually add a repeat here. And then right up at the top of those repeats, you can change this to as many times as you want. See, not as many times, up to 40. But if you're doing more than 40 repeats, God bless you, that is incredible. But we're gonna go to three repeats and we're gonna go in and edit that first one. Again, it's gonna be a run and we are doing that by distance. Those are one mile. And our target for this one, again, for me, there are so many options here. You even got power zones. Custom power, custom heart rate, heart rate cadence, all that. But we're going to go back, and that again is going to be pace. And I'm targeting to run these at four. Uh, what do we have here? Four, 25 per kilometer. Remember, this is in kilometers. I'm not running that fast in miles. Down to 430. And actually, we're going to make this 420. So I want to be somewhere in the window. And so we've got that right, one mile, 
paste 420 to 430. She's going to click on done. Then the second part of this repeat is, remember, we've got three of them. We're going to edit this step. We can keep that as recover. And you can do whatever you want here. This one in this plan is set up as time. So in time, we've got hours, minutes, and seconds. So it's going to be a one minute recovery. And then we're going to set a target pace. Now, when I'm in recovery, and this is just me, I do like to set paces, but uh, recoveries for me are meant to be recoveries. So if I don't follow these paces exactly, I'm actually not too worried about it. But I like to set paces there all the same, just to kind of keep myself a little bit accountable. But if I feel I need to walk or I need to stop, that's what we're doing. But this is about setting this up. So now that we've got that 5.30, one minute recovery, I'm gonna hit done. We've got the three times there. So let me move on to the second part of this workout. Again, we've got more repeats to come. I said it was gonna be juicy. This one is very, very juicy, especially for starting off an eight week block. You're gonna have four times three minutes. All right, so this set of repeats, it's four times. Instead of going by distance, where the first one was by miles, we're gonna go by time here. And we're gonna set that repeat at three minutes. And the target type, we're gonna go down to pace. These paces are gonna be a little bit quicker because we're getting into more of an interval pace here for me. So four minutes to four, 10 per kilometer, running that for three minutes, and we're doing that four times. I'm gonna hit done there. Then we're gonna go down to the recovery of that, very similar to before. This one is by time. And again, we're gonna set our time that we want to recover. I'm gonna make that two minutes. And you could just leave that no target, but again, I like to set some sort of pace, 5.30, to 6.30 as my recovery. And that's it. So we're gonna hit done there. And you'll see this section, um, skip last recover. I'll show you where you might use that. Usually when you're doing repeats on top of repeats and different things, you don't, cause you want those recoveries. But there is a spot where you might skip that and we'll come to that in just a sec. But I'm gonna add one more set of repeats so we're all the way down here, and this is gonna be six times, and these repeats are 200 meters. So we have distance, run, instead of kilometers, instead of miles, I'm gonna come down to M, which is just meters, and we're gonna put 200. Target pace for these, these I'm cooking. I am cooking now when I run these. So for me, that's gonna be three, 40 all the way up to 350. So we're getting towards the end of the workout and these are gonna be a hard push, but I've been, I've, they're short. So I should be able to do it. If I can't, it's fine. That's the pace we're gonna go with. And I hit done, remember we've got six times. Go down to the recovery, hit edit. And that recovery is another 200 meters. So distance again. Uh, 200, got to make sure we're not doing a recovery of 200 kilometers. I'm going to set that to meters and that recovery pace, once again, is going to be 530 to 630. Now, when we hit done here, um, the last step is uh, run that out one easy mile. So I hit add a step instead of add a repeat. So you'll notice you don't have that repeat number of times anymore, it just comes up as a run. So when I edit this step, I'm gonna leave it a run, I'm gonna set it to distance, and we're gonna do one mile. Then we're gonna set that target pace, 5.30 to 6.30. And I'm gonna hit done. Now, when I mentioned earlier about this skip last recovery, if I check that box off, when you do these six repeats, 
If you don't want to do that last 200 meter recovery, it says 0.2 kilometers, but that's 200 meters. You can actually just check this box. And when you get to the last of the six repeats, once you've done the 200 meters hard, instead of going to this recovery, it's going to skip that last recovery and roll right into that last mile, 1.61 kilometers. But I leave that box open as oftentimes this deep into a workout this juicy, I'm going to want to walk. I am tired. I am spent. I am ready to call it. So that's it, guys. That's kind of how I would set up that workout. Forgot to call it something fun here. Uh, JDQ2 um, week one half training. All right, so super, super easy to get that one done, but there is one more step to make sure, make sure that it's on our watch, and that means going over to Garmin Connect on your phone. Once you're into Garmin Connect, if you go to the bottom right-hand corner, you are gonna see three dots and the word more. Click on that, that's gonna bring up another screen, and we wanna go into training and planning. Up at the top, we see the workouts, and then you're gonna find that workout that you just created for me. It was the JDQ2 week one half marathon training, half training. We click on that, if you look towards the top, you'll see what looks like a blue outline of a phone with a blue arrow going through it. Click on that, and it says time to get running. This workout is available in your Forerunner 265. I have a Forerunner 265. Uh, is back and synced with Garmin Connect. To do that, just make sure that this gets over to our watch. When you go back to the home screen, up at the top, you'll see right to the top right hand corner just right about where the picture is for whatever device you have there's two arrows you click on those two arrows it's going to sync your watch your device make sure everything's uploaded now once you have that done if we go over to the watch and we click on run and then we're going to scroll up and we're going to scroll down to training we click on training we're going to go into workouts you're just going to find that workout. I've got a bunch of them listed here, but you'll see that little blue symbol beside it. That means that we just loaded it, and that's the JDQ2 one half training. I click on that. You'll see all of this information, a chart. I've got 15 total intervals with quite a bit going on there, and you can do the workout. Once we hit do, it's going to be ready to go. And if I hit start, it's going to start and let me know exactly 3.22 kilometers. Exactly what I have to do. All right, that's it, guys. That's the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you want to see how I made out during that workout, subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. I will probably be doing a, a short video about that specific run coming up very shortly in the channel. Um, it's going to be a bit of a beast. It's going to be a little bit of a beast. Garmin's telling me my pace is slow, that I got to run a little bit faster. That's it, guys. My name is Matt, and this has been What Matters to Matt. And ultimately, what matters to me most is my family. I will see you guys in the next video. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, wake up. today's, today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be